Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Rampage, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to still play Gears of War Ultimate Edition for Windows 10 after you refund it. So, in order for this to work, you require the game to be on your account, so that means you have a license. So, for me, I go to my library, and it's right here. This is my license. It doesn't tell me what the code is or anything. Ugh, Kenny Crush, go away. Um, but yeah. So the reason why I wanted to demonstrate this is because I find this to be a really weird thing to occur for a Windows app or, you know, in this case, a Windows store or any sort of DRM service store. You shouldn't be able to get a refund and still be able to play the game if you don't close the container that the game requires to to work right so basically if i re, re, if i get a refund from any from steam for say rise of the tomb raider or something like that then that game's license or that uh, ability to play the game is removed because the license or the the game is no longer on my account i i still can't go to the the game's folder and try to run it because it just won't work it'll load up the steam page because it uses the steam.dll now the idea behind this i you know the idea here is that even if i refund the game i can still actually play it so all right let, let's get let's get straight to it so i'm going to go to contact support which is over here and go to xbox because for whatever nope i don't want to do that i want to go see more Games for PC, and setting up. Now, I'll, I'll put a screenshot on the screen right now showing you my previous conversation with a Microsoft technician. But uh, we want to chat online. I don't really feel like talking to them. <laughs> Their support is so fucking stupid, dude. Like, I've actually gotten a refund via this contact, contact support app before, and apparently this dickhead is telling me I can't get a refund. All right, I'm just going to end that. Um, no, you did not. Fuck off. Useless. Useless human. Okay, let's try again, shall we? Contact support. There we go. Maybe I have to actually go under accounts and billing this time. Uh, yeah, accounts and billing... Subscriptions, there we go. Wanna to talk to an online tech? Uh okay. Hi. Cool story, bro. Um I am unable to play Gears of War UE. I would like a refund. Always be, be sincere when you try to get refunds, because sometimes they can be absolute cunts. Mm, okay, I'm going to load up. Uh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Brent. Thank you. Actually, yeah. Okay, all right, so... I will be more than happy to assist you with a refund. When did you purchase the game? Like, two days ago? You should be able to see this on my account. Dickhead! Um, <laughs> like, I'm logged into my account, right? They could clearly see what I have on my account, all my details... In terms of, you know, purchase history and stuff like that. So why? Why why are you asking me these questions? Obviously for, like, personal... Fu like, I don't know. They, for... I don't know, man. Like... Uh, maybe they ask you these things for that... To know who you are or whatever. But normally there's, like other questions, not just what's your email address, you know? Uh, okay, so... Number reference to this in... Okay. 
Okay, sure. I don't fucking know. Let me figure it out. Hold on. View account. I'll just move that over there for now. Don't really want to show you guys my details, but hold on. Um. Okay. Case number is... I have... Oh, it was refunded, apparently. Hmm. Okay, so I bought it March 29th. It has been refunded. Apparently. I was able to successfully request a refund for you, Brett, and this refund will be credited back to your account in the next three to five business days. Thank you. All right. So now, whilst they're on support, I'm going to actually show you that I can still play Gears of War Ultimate Edition. And I will quickly show you that I'm actually on that account. There we go. That's my email address. That's the account that you were looking at before. The Rampage 572. If I go back to... I think it's this one. There we go. Play Gears of War. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I think they sent me a message. There you go. I am currently playing Gears of War Ultimate Edition after getting a refund. This, Microsoft, should not be happening. And I personally just found an exploit with your store that you obviously need to fix. Now, this, is, this isn't this is really a, a constant, ongoing uh, exploit where, you know, the... Uh, I can buy a game, inst get a refund instantly, and then you know, constant, you know, play it after I reboot and stuff like that. So it's it's not really a fl fully fledged. I can play the game completely after I refunded, but as long as I don't restart my computer or exit out of the Xbox app or the store, I believe I can still play the game. If I go campaign, single player, continue campaign, you will see. That I'm actually still playing the game and it doesn't kick me out at any point. I would have thought that it would have actually, you know, gotten to a specific point and been like, no, nope, sorry, we're going to kick you out because you, we can't find a license. Now, it probably does do that at some point, maybe, but there's honestly no way for me to check because I just want to make this video. It may do that after, you know, maybe every 10 minutes, maybe every 30 minutes or something like that. I don't know. Because I haven't actually played this game for very long. Like, I've, like moving around here, you probably don't notice it in the video, but it is a little bit laggy weirdness with the mouse. But, yeah, that's me playing Gears of War, as you can see down here. Gears of War Ultimate Edition, and it is still on my account. And, yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm still on... Uh, the support chat here. If I go back to my account, move this over. Yeah. Uh, go to services and subscriptions. Oh, fuck. Wait. No, that's not what I want. Oh, that's nothing anyway. Go to order history. So I'll just reload the page just in case you don't believe me. It does say refunded. Now if I go here onto the actual Windows app, it still says that I can open the game. Now, I'll actually open it from the store. Oh, oh, before I do that, I'll show you that it's no longer in my account. There we go. It is not in my account at all at the moment. But if I go back, when it wants to let me, there we go. I'm just going to close out of Gears of War for a second. I actually load it via the Windows app store. There we go. Open. And it loads. <laughs> so yeah, hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Microsoft, you need to fix this. This is uh, probably a, a concerning problem. But yeah, there we go. That's the exploit. That is how to play after you refund the game. Now, obviously, I'm not going to show you that it doesn't work after closing the Xbox app because I fucking want to play this game. <laughs> Finally. Because this is the second time I've tried this. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Peace out. Oh, and I'm still on the, I'm still on the support.
So obviously this may this method this method here is obviously against terms of service or some user agreement but I'm just making this video to show you Microsoft that your store is fucked.